when a flat earther starts talking, you kind of want them to prove the earth is flat by getting them to run off the edge of the disc. So when DITRH, a well-known internediot and flat earther, made a video about how to jump off a flat earth, I knew I needed to see what it was about. Hello, I'm The Skeptic. I watch videos on YouTube that make extraordinary claims, whether that's flat earth, strange conspiracies, or even the claim that a god is real. And then I explain why I can't accept their position. Before we get into today's video, please do subscribe, hit that bell notification to be alerted for my next video, and drop a like. That would be incredible. In this internediate video, we look at DITRH, who has made many videos arguing the side of flat earthers, though not one of his videos offers any actual evidence, just claims that can't be backed up by actual science. With over 60,000 subscribers, you'd think that what DITRH's videos were saying would be absolute truth, but unfortunately, there's still a severe lack of anything like that. I will also, at this moment, point out that most, if not all flat earthers reject any pictures of the globe taken from space, claiming that they are photoshopped. Just remember that as we go into this video. is a claim and there is no evidence to back that up. Actually, Antarctica is here, 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 no edge of the world, just a lump at one of the cold poles of a spinning ball. Uh, actually, depending on how you look at it, the highest point on land is Mount Everest at 29,029 feet above sea level, or Mount Chimborazo at 20,564 feet above sea level. But due to the bulge caused by the centrifugal force created by the Earth's constant spin, that actually pushes the summit of the Chimborazo a further 6,800 foot from the centre of the Earth, making the Ecuadorian mountain the closest point to the stars on Earth. But due to the sheer amount of ice that makes up Antarctica, Antarctica, the average thickness of the continent, averaging 2.16 kilometres, makes it the highest elevated continent on the globe. Sorry, we can't accept that. It's a Photoshop picture. Next! That is a fair question, though. The only reason we'd suggest that is because we know it can't ever happen. I guess it's a little rude, but also a valid point. The whole thing now, the Earth is flat. Let's talk about that. Hey, hey, flat Earth people. If you're out there, I'll tell you what. Get a car, rent a car, and drive to the edge of the earth. Send us some pictures. Finally, proof of the ice wall that surrounds the flat earth model. All I can see is pictures of Antarctica, of different thicknesses of the edge of the ice sheets that are floating 
More on that in a second, but this last picture specifically shows the movement of the glacier. Walls don't move right, flat earthers, but glaciers do. Let me see some more of this wall. This is less of a wall and more of a curb, right? The sea ice is different thicknesses at different times of the year due to temperature. Obviously in the winter it's going to be thicker. The reason it sits so high in the water is because ice is less dense than water and so it sits higher in the ocean, giving this amazing cliff edge appearance. <laughs> you've done here is show off the beauty of the edge of a continent, though you have ruined it with the music. We could retitle the video, change the music and give this a whole new vibe. Just a slideshow of photographs that doesn't demonstrate how you reach the conclusion that the Earth is flat. I guess this is just another video that we can discount, or watch my version with amazing scenery to a much more relaxed soundtrack. I guess we still have to wait for more proof that the globe isn't actually a globe and is as flat as a pancake. Hopefully DITRH can come up with some evidence soon, but for now, has this video been discounted? I think we can give it a big skep tick. Whilst you're here, feel free to let me know in the section below if you'd like me to take a look at more extraordinary claims and I can make a video on that too. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. From me, the skeptic, stay safe, keep thinking logically and ask questions. Skepticism is the first step towards truth. See you next Saturday.